Howdy, guys. Oh my god, that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Did you see how close she just spawned to me? Just when I was starting the video. Oh my god. Uh, anyways, howdy, guys. Welcome back to The Exorcist. So, this is going to be the nine slate ending. And there's going to be a lot of stuff to do. This ending alone gave me the most trouble out of any Tabum Soft ending. So, there's a lot of stuff to do. I'll try to make this as fast as possible, but... The first thing you want to do is just talk to this yearn just like you would in the original ending. This is in the principal's office. So talk to this and this is going to get you to the rooftop room. And this is where the first slate is. You don't have to go in any particular order. But I'm just going to do this one first just to get it out of the way so we don't have to come back here. So here we are on the roof and we still have to worry about this guy. This is going to be a different ending so we're not going to worry about him right now. But we will come back to that in a future video. So the first thing you want to do is grab this slate right here, and I think I've explained this before, but in order to grab all of these slates, you're going to have to have the bronze mirror in your inventory. Just to take a look at it really quick, it's going to be this item right here, and if you don't know how to get any of these items, in fact, this is one of the biggest questions I have for all of my Tabumsoft videos, is how do I get this item, how do I get that item? I explained all of that in my first video, it's going to be done through the crafting with with the uh, the fox beads. You're going to have to find a lot of those. In fact, for this ending too, uh, let me talk about this really quick. You're going to need the bronze mirror, the shaman bell, and then also kind of the bridal mask just to get some of the pictures. It's not mandatory, but just make sure you have that in your inventory and you should be good to go. So for this one, I was really tempted to grab all these slates while playing through, but I wanted to have all nine slates in one video just to make it thorough and just to keep it organized. So I'm going to start back on level one and we'll just proceed up each level and grab all of the slates in order. So here we are on floor number one and there's actually going to be two things to do. First thing you want to do is go to room one dash two. And that's going to be, I think, in this door right over here. And here is where slate number two is going to be. You should definitely have this one by now. It's very easy to find, but just in case you don't have it, it's right there. And the second thing to do is make sure you have that love letter from the dead in your inventory. If you don't know how to get this item, then just refer back to my previous video and I show how to get this. And that's going to give you the key to the nurse's office. And I think that's on floor number one, so there's actually more stuff to do. But just equip that to your inventory, and let me take a look at my map one more time. Yeah, so it's going to be all the way to the right in this top right room over here. But before you do that, all of these levels are going to have a slate in the vending machine. So take that, and I think we're up to three pieces now. So we're making pretty good progress. But this ending, it, it took me so long. Not to find the first eight pieces, but the last piece is extremely difficult to find. And this is kind of what you have to do to start finding that last piece. Let's get into the nurse's office, go to the center bed, and it says evil spirit affected skull that needs to be purified. So that's where you need the shaman bell. So equip that and purify it, and it's going to give you... Well, you know what? For this video, I'm not going to go through any of the dialogue or any of the story, just because I already have a lot of stuff to do. And like I said, I'm really just focusing on the walkthrough portion and not really the storyline right now. So I'm just going to breeze through all of the dialogue in this walkthrough. So that gave us the USB for the principal's office, and I think that's on floor number two. So we'll do that in just a second. And the next thing to do is go to floor number two. And I think on floor number two, there's going to be two different slates to grab. Uh, let me think here. So the first one's going to obviously be in the vending machine. Let's take care of that one right now. Okay. And then the next one's going to be, I think, in the music room. So that's going to be over to the right. And let me take a look at my map. Okay, all the way to the right and then to the bottom. And once you're in here, the slate is going to be right over here in this little bookshelf right over here. Well, the shelf with all the instruments. All right, good, 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 good progress so far. So I guess it's not going to be as long of a video as I thought, but there's still a lot of stuff to do. And we are up to five slates, so over halfway there. 
So um, before we go to floor number three, let me let me take care of this USB really quick, just because we're here right now. Again, this is going to be for the last slate, so uh, we might as well take care of it right now. Put that in this computer right here. It gives you some dialogue. Then it says, heard the door open. Now, there's like 50 doors in this game, and I don't know which door it opened, but what that actually did is it opened one of the doors back on floor number one. And that's going to be the door to the library, which I have not shown yet. It's going to be a brand new room, so we'll go back to that later. So now we're on floor number three. Let's get the one out of the vending machine. And I think there's some other stuff to do. So let's go to the left first and take care of some of this stuff. Now, I don't know if I've shown this part of the game for this part of the walkthrough, but it doesn't hurt to show it again because it doesn't take that long. And you definitely have to do this for one of the slates. Talk to this guy. He's going to say he's bored. And what you want to do is you should have in your inventory portable smartphone battery along with the phone. Again, if you don't know how to get these items, then just refer back to my previous video and I show how to get all of these. So give him the smartphone and then give him the earphones as well. After that, he's going to give you the key to the locker. So use this key on this top left locker right here and that's going to give you... What does that give you? College accepted students study notes for exams. So. <laughs> Put that on and then go down to this room right down here and talk to this ghost guy. Give him the books. And then he's going to give me... What does he give me? Uh, what does he give me? Did he give me anything? Oh, never mind. It, it actually drops on the floor. So that's going to give you the computer room key. And that's where we're going to go next. So <laughs> this part coming up, it's kind of ridiculous. Uh, as you know, this game gives you all sorts of information if you read the books or look at the computers. It always gives you little tidbits of information that you don't necessarily have to remember, but right here in the computer room, it's actually going to quiz you. There's like a little test you have to take. And you don't really have to know all the information. Worst case scenario, you just get the question wrong and it kills you for like a good 10 seconds. So it's not that big of a deal if you don't get these questions right. So let's put this key on and the computer room is going to be bottom right. So let's go. Wow, there's a lot of dialogue. So go to this room right here. And what you want to do is just go in order. Look at all of these computers and some of them are going to say turned off. Some of them are going to ask you questions. But you have to do all of them to unlock the next the next part in this game. Uh, this one is Y and H, correct? And then let's keep going. What did social studies teachers say in Russian tea, honey? Okay, good, good. What is senior English teacher's favorite quote? So this question right here, they're actually all spelt wrong. <laughs> but just go with the middle one, the one spelt with the eyes. And that's going to be right. H's personality, serious and quiet. Who said science without faith is incomplete, while faith without science is blind? I think that was the senior science teacher. All right, good. Main character of the game. Wu He. Yeah, way to break the fourth wall. <laughs> so keep going. I think there's only a couple left. Turned off, turned off. Okay. What's good for health and beauty after the meal? That's going to be black tea. One of the answers was windmill. That doesn't even make sense. Uh, let's see. Okay, pick a childhood friends pair. That's going to be S and K. Okay, so all of those questions done, that opens the room right next to us. So that's going to be uh, this room right here, I think. Yes. So there's other stuff to do in this room, but for now, since I'm focusing on the slates... We're just going to go grab the slate right over here, and I think that gives us eight of nine, seven of nine. So I'm still missing two of them. So let me just take a look at my map here, and I think the one that I'm missing is going to be in the art room right up here. 
Yes, so it's going to be go in this room and then go into this junk over here. Talk to that. That's going to give you Slate 8 of 9. And then the next one is going to be... I think we have to go back to floor number one, but let me see if I'm missing anything. Let me check my inventory. Um, I think we're good for now. Okay. Yeah, we should be good for now. So just go back to floor number one and go to the library. It's going to be a new room. And uh, like I said, I've never shown this off before. So um, this is the slate right here that I got stuck on because of all the events leading up to it. I just didn't know how to find it. And seriously, out of any Tablum Soft game, I spent the most time on this one. Definitely. Um, there's still, I think, two or three endings to go, which I'll definitely be showing. And a lot of people in the comments have helped me out with some hints. Not for this ending, but for some of the other endings, they told me what to do. So uh, hopefully I'll be wrapping up on this game soon. So now we're back on floor number one. Go to the first door on the right on the bottom. And what you have to do, so once you're in this room, equip the Shaman's Bell and talk to this book right here with it. And that's going to unlock the door right over here. There's actually more stuff to do if you equip the Bridal Mask. You could talk to a lot of these books and it's going to give you more pictures for your scrapbook. But I'm not going to do it while recording because it kind of wastes time and I've already done it off screen. So I already have all the pictures recorded, but definitely check out all these pictures with the Korean Bridal Mask. And that's going to give you more of the pictures for your scrapbook. So here we are finally, here's the last slate. And uh, God dang, man, that took me such a long time. Uh, it was a little bit frustrating, but I also like the challenge. I like working a little bit for these puzzles. So, you know, it wasn't too bad, but that's definitely gonna be the hardest ending in this game. And this ending, well, this slate, it actually does lead to two different endings. So what I'll do, since this video is already getting kind of long, is I'll just show the first ending with it. And then at the beginning of the next video, I'll show the other ending along with one more ending. So uh, that should cover everything. Wait a second. Am I already on floor number three? No, I'm on floor two. Okay, so let's walk up these ridiculously long stairs. And what you want to do is go back into the principal's office. That's where you use the slate. And that's going to be right over... Here to the right, come in this hallway, and it's going to be the first room right up here. Just where the urn was, back at the beginning of this video. And this is probably one of the most unsettling images in any Tavum Soft game. <laughs> it's really good artwork. But just put the slate right there. It's going to open up this little passageway over here. But we're going to save that for the next video. And what you want to do is... These eyeballs, they actually chase you, but if you let them catch you, it's going to be another ending. And you would think that it would be a bad ending, but it's actually not that bad of an ending. Uh, in fact, the other ending is actually a little bit worse, in my opinion, but we'll talk about that in the next video. All right, I'm glad I got that all taken care of. <laughs> So if you guys have any questions about this, please leave them in the comments below. But I think that pretty much covered everything for this ending. And uh, I'll be back probably in about a week to show off the next ending. And then after that, we should be close to finishing this game. And I think after this game, that pretty much takes care of every Tabum Soft game out there. At least for the horror ones. Like I said, any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And thank you for watching.